Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, scared me too. <laughs> Hello everyone, how you doing? <laughs> and welcome to a lip product review that I'm excited to do. I got this in my Sephora Give Me More Lip Kit this year. This right here I think is the first Huda Beauty product that I've tried out. I feel like people told me it's Huda Beauty. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this is the matte liquid lipstick from her. So I'm very excited to try this out from when I was swatching for my Give Me More Lip review. It felt really nice. It smelt really nice. So I'm excited to finally put this to a day's wear and yeah, just, you know, share that experience with you guys. So first off, as always, let's go ahead. Let's hop onto Sephora's website. We can read about this product really quick and then we can go ahead and put it on my lips, see how it does. Like I said, this is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick. You get 0.17 ounce of product and it is $20. They've got 25 shades here. Some of them do say exclusive and limited edition on it, so some of these are limited edition shades, but you can see there seems to be a color for everybody here, you know? Or at least most everybody. There is quite a focus on like peachy pinks and nudes and browns and then just, you know, normal pinks and reds and whatnot. But there are some oranges and some ultra nudes. There's a gray. They've got some like gray mauve looking colors. And then there are two metallic shades as well in case you are into that matte metallic look. And what this is, it's a highly comfortable long wear liquid lipstick that dries matte with intense color payoff and transfer proof properties. It claims to be an unrivaled take on the liquid lipstick. A tried and true comfort wear formula from top beauty expert Huda Katan. Again, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing her name incorrectly, but it's supposed to be a lightweight formula that glides on in a thin coat of color that intensifies as it sets to a matte transfer-free finish with amazing staying power. You might even forget you're wearing anything on your lips at all. It is also cruelty-free and free of gluten. And to apply, it seems that you just apply like normal and then they give tips on if you're going to be combining shades and whatnot. It says it'll take about 30 seconds to set. So yay! Great! All good things! At least it sounds like it. So let's just go ahead, let's sing the song together, and we can go ahead and test this out. Let's test, let's test, hot mess or the best. My lips are in desperate need of something. They are just feeling very naked. So the shade that came in the Give Me More Lip Kit this year is Bombshell. So that's the one I'm gonna be testing. It seems to me, from what I remember, yeah, it's a very just nice peachy, peachy pink color. Yeah, and the smell. Ah, oh, it's so nice. It's oh, it's kind of like a minty vanilla. Or no, not a minty vanilla, but like an actual vanilla extract smell. Like not a candle vanilla like a lot of lipstick products are. This is like actual vanilla extract that you would use in baking. So I really like it. Just gonna swoosh this on and it really does. It goes on super liquidy. But... Okay, I can't really talk. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. It really does glide on very thin, like I was trying to say. Here's the doe foot once all of the product is out of the well, so you can see it's just got a nice slanted doe foot to it, whatever you're gonna wanna call it. Everything went on really nice, even though it is liquidy. I didn't feel like I had trouble with it, like drifting outward or like dripping down or anything. I can start to feel it setting to a mat. So it's got that little bit of stick to it. The color is gorgeous. It really is just a peachy pink, pretty true to its, well, true to the name of being peachy pink, not to bombshell, but I am surprised when I do smile, now that it's set, it's already got those lip lines. Like it really, really shows out the lip lines. So I'm just, I guess I'm gonna have to not smile very much today. <laughs> But yeah, either way, there you go. There it is. There's what it looks like on. I am excited, aside from the lip lines, to see how this wears and everything. As of right now, it feels very lightweight and very comfortable. I am testing out a foundation, as per usual, when I do these lip products. So if you want to see everything that I'm up to, definitely go ahead. Check out the card that I'll have linked in the corner and also down below. Otherwise, I'll just be checking in with you guys, you know, before and after dinner. It is currently just a little bit after 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And then I will see you all at the very end of the night. So, I'll see you all then. Bye!
it. Yeah. All right, hello everyone. Good evening. It is the end of the night here. It is currently 2.07 in the morning. I feel like this lip product performed in the same way that this foundation performed. It was okay. It was okay. But it's just another liquid lipstick, I would say, and I wouldn't say that this is my favorite out of all of them. I feel like these get quite a bit of hype here on the internet, maybe mostly on Instagram, but I personally just, you know, yeah, take a look for yourself. Can you see up close how and where this is not looking so great? It's seeming to mix with the oils of my skin around my lip line and making it smudge a bit. And then also with my lines in my lips, I usually do not have this problem, but this did not do good things in my lip lines. I don't think it's settling, maybe like skipping or something, but my lip lines hecka stand out with this lip product on. I can't even imagine with one of the even slightly darker colors how that would look on my lips. Pretty scary, I would think. You can see, like I was saying with my oils and whatnot, it does the lip line thing. So I think if you don't have oily skin and so you, I mean, I mean, it's not like I have oil dripping down my face or anything, but you know what I mean? It just, it's that little tiny bit of interaction that it has along the outside of my lips. So if you have oily skin, you definitely might run into that problem like I do with some liquid lipsticks. Some don't react with it at all, which is great, but this one is definitely one that's gonna transfer a bit and this one did get a bit smudgy because of that. That being said, it is transfer proof on the rest of my lips and it was very comfortable. It really does feel like I don't have anything on my lips, but in a good way. Because sometimes when companies say that, I'm like, yeah, but that's a horrible thing. I always want my lips to feel hydrated and comfy, like I've got a lip balm on. This doesn't feel like I have a lip balm on, but my lips don't feel like they need or want a lip balm. So I think that's definitely something worth noting. I think that is a good thing that they did with this lip formula. But, that alone is not enough for me to justify ever wearing this again. It just wasn't the lip product for me. It didn't do so great through my dinner. Granted, I ate spaghetti. But granted, there are liquid lipsticks at the drugstore that can last through a plate of spaghetti and look perfect afterwards. So for me, this just, it's, it's not good enough for me to A, like I said, ever wear it again, or B, ever make me want to purchase one. So womp womp. However, let's go ahead, let's put this into a numerical perspective with my pause rating system here. P stands for performance, A is for application, W is for worth the price, and S is for shade range. So for performance, it did okay, kind of. Kind of, it did okay. It was very comfy. So I feel like I should give it a 1.75 on that. Oh, and for performance as well, it's not sticky much at all. Maybe like 0.1% stickiness, but really it's not bad at all. After the initial dry down and whatnot in that stage, yes, it's a bit sticky. But after that, no annoying sticky factor. For application, it's good. It's very easy. It doesn't matter if you rub your lips together. I mean, granted, I never rubbed my lips together, but like press my lips together to distribute color and whatnot. It does just fine with that. So for application, I feel like, you know, it was good, very pigmented. Did a good job. I have to give it a five on application. For worth the price, for me, no, because like I said, I have other liquid matte lipsticks that are just as comfy, but that perform and look a lot better. So for me, I think I have to... <sighs> I feel so bad giving something a zero. I shouldn't feel this bad about it. I'll, I'll give it a 0.5 on worth the price. How about that? Yeah, I'll give it a 0.5. And then on shade range, I thought it was good. I feel like it was definitely concentrated in that brown and peach and pink shade range, but within that there is a really good shade range. And then they did have colors outside of that, you know, like they had an orange, a fuchsia, I do believe, a couple of reds. Like, I feel like they did a good job on the shade range for more nude looks. I think there's room for improvement, but not too much room for improvement. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and give it a 4 on the shade range. So overall this is getting an 11.25 out of 20, or a 2.8125. Yes, I got those numbers correct. So I think that pretty much sums it up. It was okay, I just think there's better on the market for cheaper. 
So, as always, I just hope this review was helpful and or enjoyable for you guys in seeing whether or not this liquid lipstick is going to be for you. If you did enjoy the video, found it helpful, whatever the case may be, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye! Thank you.